Hey guys, even here, and in this video we're talking about Phil Heath again. Yeah, we're talking about Phil Heath and how big he actually is in the offseason, or in his retirement, possibly. So in this video we're gonna talk about him, we're gonna check his size, because I have some uh, new updates of his physique, again, yeah. Uh, and uh, hopefully some new conclusions, we'll see about that. Anyways, I wanted to say also sorry for not being active for these past couple of days, I moved to a new apartment. Anyways, that doesn't matter, let's go straight into the video, so here you can see Phil Heath standing next to the uh, Mr. Johnny O. Jackson, one of the strongest bodybuilders of all time, the training partner Branch Warren, I'm sure you know about him. Johnny was a great bodybuilder, one of the best traps in the history of bodybuilding, possibly the best traps ever, but the reason why he was never like in the top 5 of the Mr. Olympia were his legs, that were absolutely horrible. It doesn't matter now, he was one of the strongest bodybuilders of all time and he was training partner of Branch Warren, and so he was a great bodybuilder, but he is retired. He actually announced his retirement. Now he's standing next to Phil Heath. But why am I telling you this? How can you make any conclusions based on this? Well, because of this, let me show you this. This right here obviously is Harry Chupan standing next to Johnny Jackson, and you can see the size difference, you can compare him to Phil Heath based on this photo right here. So you can see that Harry is uh, quite a bit bigger than Johnny, uh, forearms are pretty much the same, but the arms and the shoulders, I'm sure Harry would definitely dwarf Johnny's legs, uh, even when Johnny was at his prime, let alone now when he's retired, but you cannot really see it here, it's, uh, it's a bad angle, this photo is probably taken by a tall person and these two guys are very short, both of them are very very short, anyways doesn't matter, I mean you can see the size difference, and you can compare it to Phil Heath standing next to Johnny Jackson. So, what do you make of it? Honestly, I'm not sure, because uh, the angle and the pose are very important, but let me tell you something, these guys absolutely do know what out-angling is. Bodybuilding is their profession and uh, they are probably taking more photos than they are actually competing. So, they do know what out-angling is, and uh, even though they, they're trying to make it seem like they are naive and they have no idea about it, I'm sure they all know, and they're always trying to get the best angle. So right here you can see that uh, Phil Heath doesn't really look that good as he looked in that video where he was training his biceps. In this video right here he looked huge, he looked seriously huge. Probably he was just pumped up, I'm not sure. But uh, right now without a pump, without a tank top, and while standing next to a bodybuilder, a retired bodybuilder, uh, such as him, possibly, then he doesn't look that big, he doesn't look that big. Now, Phil Heath is basically known for not really giving a damn about how he looks in the photos. If you remember, a long time ago, there was that photo that leaked, that Louis Marco made a video about, where Phil Heath was standing on a street with his arms behind him, totally relaxed on the street, with uh, almost looking like he was having a dead bod, and uh, he also had a huge gut back then. And he didn't care how he looked on the street. Somebody took a photo of him, and it went viral. So, he doesn't really care how he looks uh, off the stage, and he, dev he never really seems like he's trying to outangle other people or bodybuilders, uh, and it's understandable, he's probably confident enough, since he is the, the, the Mr. Olympia champion seven times in a row, uh, one of the best bodybuilders in the history of the world, so he has some confidence, he doesn't need to prove himself, and that's how he feels, it seems. But uh, what can we do but judge his photos? I mean, we can see right here that he doesn't look very impressive, very big, right? Then again, it could be all about the angle. Hadi could be looking bigger because uh, he, he actually tried to look better, and Johnny also tried a little bit more, because these guys never proved themselves as much as Phil did, so they're trying hard, probably harder than Phil, uh, to prove themselves in every step. And also, Harry competed recently at a Mr. Olympia, Phil he didn't compete for over a year, longer than a year, and Johnny, Johnny is just, you know, in, in his retirement, he's just, you know, cruising around trying to stay as big and as muscular as possible. Anyways, here is a photo of Kai Green with Johnny Jackson, and uh, Kai was always known for being huge, and he's huge even today after retiring, and uh, he's looking bigger than Phil in my opinion, and I'm sure if you met him at this expo, he would try to sell you some of his ebooks, right? As I said, bodybuilders definitely do know what out-angling is, and they're all trying their best to do it, but nobody is really that good 
as uh, Larry Wills. Larry is really having a great out angling game. And also, he's a huge guy. He's very tall and he's over 300 pounds. And he's a power lifter. These guys that are actually big, but he's really trying always. You can see here that he's absolutely dwarfing Johnny Jackson. Because he's actually standing much closer to the camera. You can see it, it's obvious. And I wouldn't mind him doing that to uh, John Jackson, but uh, I honestly hate it when I see it uh, doing this to Ronnie Coleman, the legend of bodybuilding, the, the biggest bodybuilder of all time, who is unfortunately retired and uh, partially disabled uh, after all those injuries and surgeries. And you know what I think about all that. I made a couple of videos about Ronnie and he is here sitting in a chair, probably can't stand. And Larry can take a photo of it, him. And he tried to outangle him so much, like, look, guys, I am bigger than the biggest bodybuilder full time. Like a douche, I mean, let's be real, I don't like this. I don't like to see him doing this. And what is going on with Larry's smile? I don't know, guys, do, do you get the feeling that Larry, that Larry changed in the past uh, couple of months after that incident with his girlfriend and him beating her and so on, whatever that was? I don't know, he seems kind of more egotistical since then. Maybe it's not the case at all, maybe I'm wrong, tell me if you think so, tell me if you get this impression as well, but I don't know, I don't really like him that much after all that happened, I think he changed somehow, I think his ego went really high for some reason, you can see him right here and this smile after he fixed his teeth looks kind of fake, why is he smiling like this, but anyways, doesn't matter, maybe that's his natural smile, but why is he trying so hard to outangle uh, the Mr. Olympia eight times, Ronnie Coleman, I mean, come on. Yeah, Ronnie lost all of his gains, that's true, and uh, Larry is a huge guy. He's much bigger than Ronnie, but not this much. I mean, compare their heads here, you can see the difference. You can see that uh, Larry is making him look like a small man, like uh, Larry is a giant, pretty much. Because he's standing much closer to the camera and he leaned forwards. So... I mean, yeah, like, uh, people are gonna talk about this, people will comment down below, like, you are so much bigger than Ronnie, but honestly, guys, I find this disrespectful. Do you think this is disrespectful? Tell me down below, I, I feel like that. Anyways, back to Phil Heath. So this is the recent photo that he, uh, he, that he posted on his Instagram, and you can see that there are no big disbalances on his physique. He still has the fullness, the symmetry, the proportions. I don't know so much about his stomach, but... Uh, that's the, the problem he needs to work on the most, his midsection. But uh, as far as the size goes, he can add size back easily if he actually lost a lot of it when he preps for a show. Hopefully he will do another prep. But uh, here you saw him standing next to some of the, the current guys and you can basically get the idea how big he actually is right now. Just, you know, the curiosity. It doesn't really matter uh, how will he do at his uh, future shows. If he wants to compete, he will regain his size back easily, I'm sure about that. And he will be the most conditioned guy uh, up there and everything. So it's all about the midsection pretty much at this point and uh, whether he's gonna uh, regain his uh, Mr. Olympia title and not to win any other shows, really, because he can win any, any show pretty much. It's only the question of can he win the Sando back? And I believe he can if he wants to. So what do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comment section. Like the video if you enjoyed it and uh, thank you so much for watching. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.